It would seem that the Activision Blizzard Microsoft merger could be done as soon as next Friday, according to a report from The Verge. No point in wasting time. Let's get right into the story. The long and the short of it is uh, The Verge is reporting the following. And this is from Tom Warren, who we talked a lot about on the channel. It says Microsoft eyes closing its giant Activision Blizzard deal next week. Microsoft is getting ready to close its Activision Blizzard deal with a decision from a UK regulator expected imminently. Now, if you don't know, the CMA is hearing final arguments. I believe those are due today. And we'll get to that as we read through the article. Here's what's being reported. Microsoft is planning to finalize its $68.7 billion proposed acquisition of Activision Blizzard next week. A source familiar with Microsoft's plans tells The Verge that the company is eyeing up Friday, October 13th. So maybe do it on Thursday. Maybe don't do it on Friday the 13th. Uh, as the closing date where it announces the, to the world that the 20-month process to buy Call of Duty maker Activision Blizzard is over now personally i'm a little hopeful that that's it i think we'll still cover the ftc case but it'll basically be done at that point i don't really know what the ftc could even do if they they close over the ftc but that would probably be it so continuing on the date will still depend on the uk's competition and markets authority though a regulator that blocked microsoft's deal earlier this year microsoft recently restructured the deal to transfer cloud gaming rights for current and new activision blizzard games to ubisoft and the xbox maker secured preliminary approval from the cma late last month as a result now you can go check out my video on that but the long and the short of it is uh the cma felt like microsoft had address their concerns and then they were a little salty like well why didn't microsoft bring this to us sooner and it's <laughs> it's just so weird they absolutely would have um it was just sort of a weird offhanded comment by from uh, cardell in the the comments anyway the cma has a deadline that expires today today when i'm recording this video it's coming out on friday october 6th the cma has a deadline that expires today on gathering opinions over whether it should grant consent to microsoft to proceed with the merger a final decision from the cma is expected next week and barring any surprise last minute changes would allow microsoft to close the deal microsoft and activision extend their deal deadline to october 18th extended their deadline to october 18th recently but if microsoft is able to close this deal next week then it will bring the close a 20-month process of regulatory approvals and battles across Europe and the US a little earlier than expected. Now, there have, of course, been reactions to this uh, all over the place. And the, you know, the FTC failed to block it. We covered that extensively. There is an FTC appeal hearing that will be happening soonish. But he actually talks about it here. The FTC is still appealing the outcome of that hearing with the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, and a decision is due in early December. The FTC is also planning to resume its own administrative case against Microsoft's proposed Activision Blizzard acquisition. The administrative case will commence 21 days after the Ninth Circuit rules on the FTC's appeal with the hearing held virtually. The FTC could attempt to undo Microsoft's Activision Blizzard deal, assuming it closes on time, but it would face an unprecedented uphill battle. Now, that would just be insane. So if they close in October, in December, there is a potential appeal that would happen, and then another case that would happen. It, it would just be sort of nuts uh, if, if that were to transpire. And like, I don't, I don't even know what would happen that, that would just be crazy. It's also crazy that so many of you aren't subscribed. So hit that subscribe button, hit that bell if you're not, so you know when the videos post. And if you're already subscribed, hit that like button to help the video get shared more. Now, as I said, this was reported on by Tom Warren. We call him Tommy W in the, no, nobody calls him that. <laughs> we probably call him Mr. Warren or something very uh, stuffy. But uh, Tom, Tom for short. Anyway, he reported on this. He's, he's breaking this, so good one, Tom. Uh, I hope it's before the 13th. It's just bad luck and all that. It's a little superstitious destiny showing. Uh, Florian Mueller said, according to The Verge, Friday the 13th, maybe the day the Activision Blizzard deal is closed or the closing is announced. Microsoft eyes closing its giant Activision Blizzard deal next week. I'm not superstitious. Hope you are not. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> I, I missed that part when I uh, pulled it. 
Um, he says, well, Tom and I have had disagreements on related to the real issues. He has great access to Microsoft internal information, and I have nothing negative to say about his work as a journalist. Last time he expected a CMA decision the next week, it came down sooner. And that's right. He did break that earlier. My sources on ABK have always been publicly accessible. That's why I, too, need to read media reports for the unofficial stuff and some patient Oh, sorry, in some patent litigation and licensing context, confidential stuff has been leaked to me, but not by or even remotely related to Microsoft. So he's talking about patents and such. And he's just like, yeah, I don't hear about this stuff either. So I hear it from Tom also. Separately, though, Florian also talked about the timeline and sort of what we can expect here. Here's what he's got laid out. Not even two weeks left under the Microsoft Activision Blizzard merger agreement and the CMA's procedural or procedural schedule. There's no reason to expect anything from the CMA tomorrow. It's just the deadline for consultations. And you can see his <laughs> difficult for me to read timeline. Uh, extend merger. So it's the 18th, I believe. And then the ninth circuit hearing is in December. And deadline for comments is here. So they're going to close somewhere in this little space if you can see where my mouse is between these two lines right here uh that's the long and the short of what's going on with the case i guess i i mean redfall 2 also got an update if you care they they actually made it 60 fps on console now so they kept their word performance and stability fixes they added uh melee takedowns which is kind of cool <laughs> uh yeah, so better FPS. Let's be honest, like Redfall is what it is. And I see it on Twitter all the time these days. And I'm just so over it. Um, yes, Redfall was bad. The dev team still finished it. And that's awesome. And then uh, the last one that I just wanted to mention real briefly, and I might do the bigger collection later, but Sony confirms that that data breach that I talked about was legit. So if you want to see the original report, I can link to it at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, people did breach it in their systems and personal information may have been exposed. So I, I don't think you need to delete your account, but it says um, personal information of over 6,000 people have potentially been exposed. The first breach occurred in May. Okay, I got to pause this. First breach occurred in May, compromising the data of a bunch of people. And the second was 3.14 gigabytes data. That's not that much. That's like one video file <laughs> in 4K, maybe. Uh, Sony is currently investigating both breaches and is offering credit monitoring and identity, identity restoration services to those affected. It's basically the same playbook that they did last time. But yeah, that's legit. And as soon as we know a little bit more, I will talk about it more. But thank you for watching. Big update on the Microsoft Activision trial. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell if you want to know my content goes live. Thank you so much. I will be keeping an eye on any sort of announcements from the CMA or Microsoft in the next few days. Thank you so much to the members for supporting. I really, really appreciate you. If you want to become a member, member, you can click that join button right down there. Now, I've been a little sporadic with my video posting. You may have heard that there was an error in my capture for Forza Motorsport, and I've been working to make those corrections, and that's very important to me. So I've been spending a lot of time on that. So if I'm a little sporadic, I apologize for that. Just tired from working late to make the appropriate fixes. If you want to see that video I referenced about the data breach, you can check it out here. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.